Hello viewers, my name is Ole Guchigoze from OCI City Center. In this very video demo, I'm going to show you how to further customize the SCOM content that uh, we publish in our LMS. Uh, I'm using Moodle LMS. Okay, this is the Moodle LMS that is running on a local server here. And um, to start customizing the content and uh, tracking, I will show you how uh, to get the report from the SCOM. Okay, the LMS, uh, how to get the report. I'm going to log in as admin. Uh, there are several ways of logging in. If you scroll down, you can see login here. So you can be able to log in with your username or you can just click on login here at the top here. You can see you, uh, you are not logging, login. And another way is by trying to assess a course. If, you, if I click on this course, for example, probably it will take me to a login page, okay? Now, I'm going to log in with my username and password. Okay, I entered my username and password. I click login. Now, by logging in, I have administrative right now to edit content. Okay, so to start editing this com content, I need to turn editing on. Here at the top. Now, depending on the team that your LMS is using, uh, it may differ. Uh, the interface may differ depending on your team. Uh, for my own case, I'm using adaptable team. Now, uh, to start editing this uh, SCOM content, you need to click Edit. Okay, under this com package we publish earlier on, I'm clicking edit and select edit. Now you can see it has brought us to the editing interface. Yeah, you can change the title, you can add description. Okay, if you add description here, you are going to uh, tick display description on course page. Okay, so let me add description. Okay, there's the short description here. And uh, you can edit this, uh, maybe format it. By clicking the gear icon, you can format it just like uh, any other uh document uh file can make it at the same time okay can select all increase the font a b uh, and four point and uh can even change the color and other uh settings okay you can even add image if you like so now once you add a uh, description you need to tick this uh, display description on course page okay I'm going to tick it and uh, this is the package we uploaded earlier now under appearance we have set it to uh, be viewed on a current window okay and um, we also allow display course on entry page. Uh, we set it to no. Okay. Now, if you, there is option here that says show more, so I'm going to click on this show more. Here, there are some features I need to set up here. Students skip content structure uh, page. So if you want, uh, the student to skip this content can tick mark it and select but they never okay 
the, I want to disable the preview mode. Remember when you launch the course for for that uh, SCOM content, it is going to display two options for you: uh, preview mode and the normal mode. So as I test, I don't want a student to preview it to preview it first. I want them to go direct and take the test. So I'm going to select a disable preview mode and turn it to yes. Okay. Now there are other um, a player display cost structure in a in a player. Now what happened is that there are some player bar that is uh, display under the uh, depending on the side you selected so because uh, my quiz have a custom navigation I'm going to turn it off by check marking this and click on hidden okay it is going to hide that uh, navigation uh, bar below the uh, content right now uh there is this option that says display attempt status it is going to display the attempt status at the entry of the page okay now there is uh another option that say availability uh if you want to check all these things you can check it out and set the available from so so date to so so date okay now the grading system uh by by default uh it is the highest grade which is 100 percent even though i have uh, set the limit of the um, uh, grade the passing grade in the scum content because it is a quiz i can allow 75 percent or so on here is 100 percent attempt management under attempt management maybe i want i don't want to be too strict to the student and i need to allow them to attempt so what happened is that when they attempt for the first time if they fail it they have option to attempt this quiz for the second time and uh, it is only when they attempted the second time the highest under attempt grading you can now select what report you want them uh, what you want the LMS to report whether it is the first attempt or the highest attempt okay now for example if I select the highest attempt what happened is that out of the two attempts if the student score let's say a uh, 50 percent at initial attempt and uh, 75 percent at the second attempt the 75 percent will be reported as the total score okay now if i select average attempt what happened is that out of these two attempts it's going to average the 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 two attempts for example let's say the student scored 50 percent at a initial attempt and uh, at the uh, second attempt the student score uh, 60 percent it is going to average the total so what is going to report is 55 percent that is the average of the two attempts okay so uh, that is what uh, happened here and um, uh, you can also allow first attempt what happened is that it is the only first attempt that will be reported okay it is not uh, ideal uh, when you are allowing multiple attempt because uh, the initial attempt the student may fail this uh, course for the first attempt it is going to be reported if you select this one okay what happened is that the the first attempt regardless of the score will be reported and likewise the last uh, attempt okay so if you select last completed attempt it simply means that it is the only last attempt 
score that will be reported okay so for my i'm going to allow the highest attempt out of these two attempt if it is if the student score uh, it is the highest attempt on each of the attempt will be reported all right now lock after final attempt what happened is that uh, this content is going to be locked up when the final attempt is reached okay so uh, by default it is said to no but if you can select yes uh, I'm going to save this uh, very uh, setting and display the content. All right, this is it here. Now it is show uh, because I you can see what happened now. It show the the number of attempt allow is two number of attempt you have made that is the one i have made as admin is one and the grade for attempt is zero because i have not uh, attempted uh, i only opened the uh, quiz okay but as admin admin i can delete or scum attempt here as admin but uh, a user cannot do that okay um yeah, if I want to start to start this uh, module or uh, the content, I will now click on enter. So let me click on enter. Okay, this is the content. You can see the um, the LMS navigation is already out because I turn those content, those navigation off. Now let for example let me try to assess this quiz and um my name is already there this is the instruction here and uh, here this is the quiz that started you can see the questions is uh is uh, number is showing here this is the time allow here for this particular quiz is 14 minutes i mean to, uh, 15 minutes and uh, there is 25 questions and what happened is that uh, i can answer these questions randomly and I even skip the ones that i don't know the answer for example i can skip this can answer it randomly for example so let me quickly answer this question randomly without uh, getting it correct and uh, yeah. so that we test our setup and um okay i'm just getting it randomly i'm not reading the question okay let me quickly get it randomly get it wrong all right All right, I. This is I have reached the final quiz, and I can now click submit. Or even though they are, I skip some of the questions that I think I don't know, go so I now click submit. Okay, it okay. It is trying to send the report, but uh, I don't have internet access, so can see I score zero percent, zero point. Uh, passing score is seventy percent. Okay, and um, you can see there is option to retake the quiz. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to close this particular. Okay, so I'm going to leave this content. Now, for example, because I as admin i just attempted this content let me go to the this content and go to report 
you can see what happened here I have one user here which I have assigned this course to but has not attempted it um, it is showing me the report of the um, I have one I have made one attempt and this this is the date that I and time I started attempting this content and this is the date and time I finished the attempt and the score I got remember it is zero because I didn't get any correct answer and then now uh, I have one attempt now uh, this is uh, the report so far I'm going to attempt this uh, que that very content again so I go back to the content launch it so I tick mark start a new attempt here I click enter because I allow two attempts okay you can see how it started the new attempt and now I'm going to start over and this time around I'm try I will try to get as much uh, question as uh, as I can get correct and uh, see the difference so I'm going to fast forward this uh, this very video so that um, because it will take my me some time to read this question and answer all. Okay. All right. You can see I've answered about twenty questions out of twenty-five. So let me um all at the advantage of first generation computer except. Okay, just trying to get this thing, um, some of them correct. So the following is not a computer classified based on size, cost, and speed. Uh, right, sure. Computer can be best described as electronics device. First generation computer started from which year? Um, uh, which of the following item are example storage device? Well, the, the question does not regarding a video, which statement is more correct? VDU is an output device, is a peripheral device, is a do divide is a hardware item which one is more correct I think this now I just finished answering this question I'm going to click submit all right see what happened now is that at least I got 92 percent and uh, I'm going to close this course and uh, right navigate back to the quiz to the content now I'm going to view the report as admin so this is the you see what happened here now you can see number of attempt is uh, two I've made two attempt number of attempt you have made is two grade for attempt is uh, zero uh, attempt one you see I got zero percent in the first attempt grade for second attempt is 92 percent grading method highest attempt okay so what happened is that uh, this it is going to report this 92 percent in my grade book okay so if i go to report you can see now that i made two attempt the first attempt i scored zero and the second attempt i got 92 all right so that is uh, how this thing functions okay this is how it functions mm -hmm.